Okay, this is our last one. Yes. <laughs> All right. Five times Luke's age minus eight gives Robert's age. If Robert is 37, what is Luke's age? <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, Donna. Yes, even... you are, too. Oh, man. You know, you don't need me half as much as you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish that were true. You know it is. Seriously, though. My math tutoring days are numbered. You're doing really good. And I'm late. Okay. Got a big date tonight? <laughs> don't I wish. Big physics lecture to go to tonight. Ooh. Um, good luck? Yeah, right. See what you have to look forward to, Serena? Please, I'm counting the days. It'd be great if I could get a scholarship somewhere out of state, too. Really? Any place special? Not really. Um, I hate to ask, but your mom said last week that say that yes, we're supposed to pay you today. Of course, yeah. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. I mean, normally I wouldn't even ask, except that uh, you know what? You shouldn't have to. We'll be right back. Okay, thanks. Will she take a check? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't see why not. I like this one. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it looks like you guys are really having fun. Like, you're really enjoying each other, you know? It's nice. I guess. Uh, anyway, here you go. Oh. And last Thank piece is in there, you. too. And again, I'm sorry about the wait. My parents aren't exactly the most organized people on the planet. <laughs> no, it's a, that's all right. I mean, it's tough raising parents. I know. <laughs> Alrighty. What's wrong? Um, nothing. It's just your mom got the date wrong, that's all. Today's the 12th, not the 19th. I'm sorry. Like you said, uh, it's to freezing parents. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. I know. I I'm so sorry we couldn't be there, Father. <laughs> well, Andy got called into work at the last minute, and, well, yeah, everything just sort of went south from there. I, I know everybody at the church was really counting on us, too. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, it's just that lately things have been, uh... <laughs> yes, challenging is the perfect word. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Um, again, please give our apologies to everyone. And thanks so much for your concern, Father. Okay, we will do. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. <sighs> Next. Wrong date on the check. You, um... Put the 19th instead of the 12th. Uh, Mom? She's already late. For... It's, it's the right day. What do you mean it's the right day? Today's the 12th. <laughs> I, I know what today is, Serena. Oh, okay, I know, but I, I don't get paid until the 19th. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. She was her last check. Um, she thought she had another one in a box somewhere, but oh, I guess. Oh uh, well. Hey, you know, at least now she knows, right? Yeah. Don't worry about it, Serena. I mean, it's only seven days, right? I think I'll live. Um, I guess. So, see you next Thursday. Yeah, you know it. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. I guess I'm the only one who knows how to pick up the phone now. Oh. Hello? Hi. Yes, I, I sent it out. Uh, yes, today. It went out in the mail today. Uh, no, I, I... I'm not able to pay online. No, I, I'm not. No, I, I'm not. 
No, really, I, I've been through all this before. Uh-huh. Yes, I... Um, we're not interested in your product, but thanks for calling. Okay, all right, bye-bye. Hey, how was the game? We lost. Oh, I'm sorry, hon. Oh, where's your dad? So, um, who was that? Oh, you know, just some sales call. Whole lot of them lately. <laughs> well, you know how that is, once you get on a list. <laughs> Which list are we on, Mom? You know, it's not enough that my parents are such losers that I've got to apply to every freaking scholarship known to man. No, now I've got to lie for them, too. Look, a lot of people would have to apply for scholarships, Serene. That's not what I'm saying. You're totally missing the point here. My dad has a good job, but you never know it from living around here. I swear, if my mom didn't work a part-time job, we'd all probably be homeless by now. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Oh, it's not. Well, it can't be easy for your dad either. I mean, with his job and everything. He's around gambling all the time, so... Cut me a break. Besides, Greg, what's he supposed to do? Quit his job? Gee, that'd be real great, wouldn't it? I, I don't know, sir. What do you want me to... What are you getting off in my face for? I mean, I'm not the one who's... Because you're not even trying. I'm over here pouring my guts out and you're not even... You know what? Forget it. Yo, Serene, you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm just great. Don't worry about that, I'll clean it up. Are you all right? Are you? I said I'd clean it up. Whatever. So did he come? What? Dad, did he come to your game or what? I didn't see him, no. Figures. Yeah, I'm probably just busy. <laughs> yeah. And we all know with what, right? So how do you get home then? Steve, on the ride with him and Pete. You should have called Mom. Why? I got a ride. That's not the point, Aiden. We shouldn't have to worry about this kind of crap. What is your problem anyways? I mean, none of this is exactly news. Yeah, but it's getting worse. He's gotten worse. How can you tell, you know? I just, no, okay. I mean, every other call now is from some bill collector and pff, all kinds of stuff has gone missing. Like what? Oh, please, Aiden. Just think about it. Think about all the stuff that's gone missing over the past couple of months. Your iPod, the necklace Greg gave me for Christmas, your basketball money. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because there's nothing we can do about it, okay? There's nothing we can do. It's their problem, not ours. Andy? It's me. Uh, I, I was just hoping to catch you. Uh, I just wanted to see if you could bring home some milk on your way, on your way home. Or, but I guess I can run up to the store myself. Anyway, uh, Aiden said you never made it to the game. What happened? Y you know you can't. You just can't keep telling him you're going to be there and then not show up. I mean, he's... I hate seeing him so disappointed. It's not right. He needs to be able to count on you, Andy. We all do. Just, uh... Well, if you get this, call me or... At least call him and tell him you're sorry, okay? It just takes so much energy to wake up every day and pretend that everything's okay, you know? I mean, tonight, with Donna, just the look on her face when I had to tell her about the check. It just tore me up inside. It was like, like looking in a mirror. I know what you mean. I'm always lying to my friends about why I can't do stuff, go somewhere, whatever. I hate it. I do. And sometimes I even feel like mom and dad making up all these lame excuses. I don't know. Because I'm kind of getting used to it, you know? <laughs> well, I'm not. And I don't want to be. I'll be back. I'm just going to run up the street and pick up some milk. What? All right. Must be a cow at the street. She's planning on milking or something. Because otherwise... <laughs> Seriously, though. Really, though. You shouldn't be so hard on this, Serene. I mean, it's not her fault. Dad's the one with the gambling problem, not Mom. 
Wow. I think that's the first time I've ever heard you say that. What? The dad has a gambling problem. Like I said before, there's nothing we can do about it. So why bother saying anything at all, you know? Maybe you're right. Maybe there's nothing we can do about it. But what I want to know is, why doesn't mom do anything about it? What's she gonna do? Threaten to kick him out? Think that'll change anything? Is that what you really want? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I just... I want to stop. I mean, don't you? Hello? Andy? H hello? Yes. I, yes, I, I know we're behind on our last couple of payments. We're um, we're working on straightening that out right now. I, I, I know it's uh, it's been a really tough year for all of us. When there's a gambling problem in the family, everyone feels the pain, no matter how strong anyone may be. If you or the people you care about are being affected by someone's gambling problem, you may need help to find solutions that are right for you. To learn more about problem gambling or to find resources for help, please log on to www.nevadacouncil.org. For immediate assistance, please call the Problem Gamblers Helpline at 1-800-522-4700.